or it, it may hold some junk characters also, it is also possible. Then uh, that is uh, as an example that we have seen that uh, in this particular string, the uh, CHIR cap STR20 is uh, defined, that is a STR, a string of length 20 is defined or declared, but the str variable can hold only 19 characters because the 20th character should be a slash zero character that is a null character but it can hold any number of characters that is less than 19 so if it holds a value with the 12 characters it is represented here so first is i then n i t i a l then the space b a l u e so it, that is the 12, 12 characters then on the 13th position on the 13th position it comes slash zero the slash zero comes at the 13th position then after that the remaining positions or the remaining locations will be allocated with the, maybe some gen value we doesn't know what the value it is there so that's the condition for the that is how the string is stored in memory now if we consider an array of strings that is string itself is a single dimensional array of characters so if we consider an array of strings it will be a two dimensional array of characters in which each row is one string so each row will be having one string and there will be multiple strings in that particular array. So something like this, we can declare an array of strings like this, cap. So that, that is the type. In for any string, the variable type is cap. So because uh, in each position, there will be a single character stored. That is why it is cap. So this is the name of that particular variable or particular array names. Then the first one, this is the first uh, dimension, the first dimension, it should be, it should not be people or length, if it is a variable, suppose if people is a variable uh, with uh, some value, with uh, some integer value, then we can obviously give it as uh, like this, otherwise it is not possible to give it like this, but it can be, can be any integer value, so it can be an integer value, so that's it this length this length should also be an integer value so an example of this particular definition is given in the next line that is cap month 5 10 so 5 means there will be five strings will be there there will be five strings and 10 denotes that uh, 10 different positions can be occupied 10 different positions can be occupied in a single row that is the last row, the, the last position should be in a row, the last position should be slash zero, the null character. So up to nine characters it can take. So this can be initialized. This type of a variable or a, an array of strings can be initialized like this. Within double braces, within double braces, each string is given as a string in, within double quotes each string should be placed within double quotes so a double quotes then january double quote ending then a comma then double quotes double quotes starting as well as ending within that one there is february then there is march april and may so this will be the character the array month so the uh, month array will be look uh, will be looking something like this so month will be something like this j the first position first row first position a second first row second position n u a r y then finally there will be a slash zero slash zero this will be the first row so since it has 10 different positions it occupies 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so there will be two positions vacant some junk characters will be printed here we doesn't know what characters will be there but there will be some junk characters something will maybe there we are not sure 
then the second row the second row is february so it will be like this f e b r u a r y and finally it's the slash zero the slash zero is to end that particular string then finally there is a single vacant space and on that vacant space there will be something some character so in the third row it will be m a r c h the next one will be slash zero then the remaining will be the remaining four positions will be j so this is how an array of strings are created array of strings is created like this now the input and output of a string so the placeholder play uh, percentage yes is used to represent a string argument in printf and scanf if you want to use scanf to read some text input or a, uh, some string input in that case you have to use percentage s as the placeholder or the type specifier so printf double quotes topic percentage s slash end then string wave so, so this particular variable that is string underscore var that particular variable will be holding a string as its as its uh, value suppose string var is defined as something like this is string underscore var is equal to say programming in c so it is defined like this so in this case printf topic percentages slash n so this will print like this topic then the double quotes i mean the colon is there topic after the uh, topic there is a colon so that is topic colon then it will print this one progr programming in c this will be printed so this is printing just because this gives there is a percentage yes here so that is why it prints and uh, uh, in this position, in this percentage, S yes, position, it is string var. It is a variable. It is a string type variable or a character type variable, character array type variable. So that will be printed there. So the string can be right justified by placing a positive number in the placeholder. Like uh, if str is equal to equal to end. Suppose str is initialized as end. In that case, print of percentage 8 s. Yes, gives you five spaces will be left so five spaces will be left and on the sixth seventh and eighth positions or eighth spaces e and d will be printed so that is the right hand right justification that is all the values will be justified towards the right side then if it is to be left justified that is if the value is to be printed or if the string is to be printed in the left justified manner in that case you have to place a negative number in the placeholder so that is like this printf percentage minus 8 s yes. so this p is not capital p it should be small p so small p r i n d f so that is the printf then percentage minus 8 s yes. so there will be eight spaces reserved for printing the variable str so suppose str is again equal to end so in that case this will be printed like this e n d so one two three four five so it will be printed like this so eight spaces will be reserved for printing this str this variable str with the minus eight means it should be aligned in the left position left aligned the position or left justified position and there will be spaces allocated or spaces reserved after this particular str so that's how the a string is input or output so percentage s can be used as the placeholder for a string so now let's see some examples some examples 
the first example is count the number of occurrences of each vowel in a given sentence. So we will be given with a particular sentence, any sentence. You can type uh, type in any sentence, and uh, what we have to do is we have to count the number of occurrences of each vowel. So we know the uh, vowels are a, e, i, o, and u. So how many times a occurs, how many times uh, e occurs, etc. That we have to count. This is our first program. So let's uh, see the program. So this is the program. In this case, uh, I, I am using uh, one. This here is uh, an include stdio.h is here. Then include stdio.h is here. Then I am using another header file that is include c type .h. This c type .h is commonly used for changing or for operating the type conversions or the character type conversions or not actually type conversions the char the operations on the characters like whether we want to check whether a particular character is an alphanumeric character whether it is from 0 to 9 or if it is an alphabet so that function is available in the c type dot h and if we want to convert a particular character into the upper character the upper alphabet that is capital a if we have a small a and we want to convert it to the upper a so there is a function to upper so that is available in the c type then to lower that is also available in c type so in order to use one of these functions one of these uh, functions which is available in the c type i am including the function i mean in, in, i am including the header file c type in this particular program then there is another uh, input output function that is ponyop.x that is also another input output uh, header file some header files some uh, functions are available in ponyo.x so that also we are using so there are three different uh, header files in this particular function i mean particular program so then we start with our main function so in main void then we define a string a string of or actually a character array we are actually defining a character array and if that particular character array is ending with a slash zero that is a null character then we can consider it to be a string so now this is the character array that is char send 80 so send is the variable name for the character array now there is int an integer variable that is again an array so an integer array vowel 5 so this vowel 5 is used in order to uh, store the uh, the counts of a counts of e counts of i etc so we since we have five vowels present in our alphabet we need five different variables or five different locations to store the count of all these vowels that is why we use a uh, an array of size 5 so vowel 5 so vowel 0 means on the 0th position it, we, uh, we will be storing the number of times a is occurring on the first position we will be storing the number of times e is occurring on the second position we will be storing the number of uh, times i is occurring etc then there is another variable i i is in order to trace through each element in the string since a string is a character array we can trace through each element in the string using the index the corresponding index so then there is an end equal to zero this is a flag this is a flag which is used to check whether uh, this uh, slash zero is obtained and if slash zero is obtained we have to break we have to break our loop so that is why we use an end this is a flag whether end has 
reached or not. Once we find out the, the slash zero as the character or the null character as our character, then we change the value of end to one. Then the value of end will be changed to one. So once we get end as one, we break the loop. So that is why it is taken. So now what we does is we puts enter the line of text. So puts uh, actually we have seen this is almost similar to the printf statement. The only thing is inside this one we can only give a string. So instead of this puts we can give uh, enter the line of I mean uh, we can give printf and then within the brackets enter the line of text. So that is also possible. Then gets sent. Gets is another function which reads the input this gets is normally taken for reading the text inputs that is the string inputs so here we are actually send is a variable an array type variable a character array type variable so it is a character array sent so it is since it is to be a string so gets is used in order to read the sent the value that is being type and type written by us so it will be the particular text of the particular string that is being type written will be stored into this sent into this particular variable sent so that will be stored as a single dimensional character array then what we does is for i equal to zero i less than or equal to four i plus plus vowel i equal to zero we initialize we initialize each value in the vowel variable that is in the array named vowel each variable or each location is initialized with a value zero so vowel i becomes zero in each position so vowel zero will be uh, zero vowel 1 will be 0, vowel 2 will be 0, etc. up to vowel 4 will be 0. So that up to 4 there were 5 spaces or 5 locations in order to store the 5 different vowels, the number of counts of different vowels. Then we start with a for loop. Here is a for loop for i equal to 0, i less than or equal to 79. We are going up to 79 because inside this one we are selecting or we are creating a character uh, array which is of length 80 the length of the character array was 80 so the maximum number of characters that can be stored is only 79 because the last one should be a slash zero symbol so the index of this array varies from 0 to 79 so 0 to 79 means there are 80 locations so that is why we are look creating or we are tracing from i equal to 0 to i equal to i less than or equal to 79 so i less than or equal to 79 then we check i plus plus no actually we are incrementing i with i with one i is incremented by one then we go for a switch loop a switch condition is being used switch case situation uh, controlling uh, structure switch case structure is being used so switch then here is the function to lower this to lower function comes from this c type dot h so to lower send i even if send i is send i means i to position the character at the i to position i can be 0 1 2 3 etc up to 79 so at the i to position what character is present that character is converted to a lower case alphabet using this to lower why we are using this particular tool over if there is a capital letter coming up if there is a capital letter coming up c will treat the capital letter as well as the, the small letter as two different entities so if there is a small letter a and if there is a capital letter a it will be treated as two different things but in our case but in our case it is the same thing it is the same thing in the sense it is a letter a which is a vowel so that is why we want to convert that particular alphabet into two lower that is we are converting it into 
to lowercase alphabet. So then we have converted that alphabet into some uh, lowercase alphabet. Then we are checking whether that is an A, case A, switch case. We know that if it is an A, then the vowel zero will be incremented. Vowel zero will be incremented. And we break the loop. I mean, break the switch condition. So if the case is E, we increment the vowel one with, by one. So that is vowel one plus plus. Vowel one is incremented. The first position uh, in the vowel is incremented by one. So that is this. Then it repeats or it does the same for if it is I, if it is O, if it is U. So A E I O U. The all the five alphabets are or all the five vowels are tackled here. And if one of these vowels is present, the corresponding position in the variable vowel or the uh, corresponding position in the array vowel will be incremented by one. Then finally, we have a case slash zero. That is, if it is an L character, if we find that the current character that is under consideration is a null character, then what we do is we change the flag end equal to one. End was initialized as zero but here in this initialized as one. So then again, we break. Then we check. So with this one, the switch case ends. After the switch case ends, we check whether end is greater than zero. So if it end is not equal to zero, actually, if end is equal to zero, if end is equal to zero, that means nothing needs to be done. But if, instead, if end becomes one, if n becomes one, then we have to break the for loop. That is, we want to check within this particular array up to the character slash zero only. Even though the for loop is for zero to 79, we are checking only up to slash zero. Once slash zero is found out, we are coming out of the loop. So that is why this if n did, we break. We break the particular loop. So once the loop is broken or and we are coming out, we print the number of vowel A, percentage D, vowel 0. So at the 0th position of the variable vowel, we have the number of times the letter A has repeated. And in the second position, that is in the vowel 1 position, it will be having the number of times the, the uh, value E was repeated. So likewise, we have the counts of A, E, I, O, U. So all these things are displayed. Then we return the value zero. So this return is, we, we use this particular return because we have defined thus this particular function return an integer value. So that is this particular program. Now let us compile it. So while compiling, there is no error coming up. We are running it. So enter the line of text. We have to enter the line of text. So first, as a checking, I am ending. I am entering a e i o u in small letters as well as a e i o u in capital letters. So obviously, in that particular text. A appears twice, E appears twice, I appears twice, O appears twice, and U appears twice. See, let us see how our result will be. Say, yes, the, the number of vowel, A is 2, the number of vowel, E is 2, I is 2, O is 2, and U is 2. So all the, the five alphabets, I mean, the, all the five vowels repeated here, whether it is a small letter or it, uh, it is a capital letter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter just because we use the two lower symbol here. If we haven't given this two lower here, it would have counted only the capital, I mean, the small letter A or small letter vowels. So that is uh, why we use the two letter, I mean, two lower. Now let's. Uh, run it once more and give some other text say m a -L -A -L -A. 
e. In this case, the vowel a is repeating four times e, i, and u. E, i, o, u. All these things are not at all repeating or not at all present within that particular text. So that is how this particular program works. And uh, let us change this to lower or let us delete this to lower. What will happen? Let's think. Uh, right. So now the text I am giving is uh, A, E, I, O, U itself. And again, capital letters is also I am giving. Small letter A, E, I, O, U and uh, uh, capital letter A, E, I, O, U. In the previous case, we obtained that uh, each of these elements is present twice. But in the case of when, uh, in the case when we removed the two lower symbol, I mean two lower function, what will be happening? See, in that case, A, E, I, O, U are present only once because this capital A and small a are different in the view of C programming. So. It doesn't, it doesn't count the capital vowels along with the small letter vowels. So that is the difference. So uh, that is about how counting the number of vowels. So this can be used, this same program can be used in order to count the number of vowels, the number of consonants, etc., etc. But uh, if, uh, what we have to do is we have to take this particular program to suit our conditions. Even the space can be counted. So now let us see another program in which the number of vowels as well as the number of consonants are considered or counted. The number of vowels is A, E, I, O, U. So the total number of A, E, I, and O, and U is counted together. That is, uh, it is not uh, considering each vowel separately. It is counting all the vowels together. Then all the consonants will also be counted together. So consonants are all the alphabets which are not a vowel. So if it is not a vowel, then obviously it is a consonant. And the exemption for, for this particular condition, that is whether it is a vowel or if it is a Consonant is that space, so that we count the space also. So we count the vowels, the number of vowels, the number of consonants present, and the number of spaces present in this case. So this is uh, what we are going to do using this particular program. Here also we are using three different header files, stdio.h, ctype.h, and ponio.h. Then we start our program with the main void. We define the character string char str 80 so the size of the array is still 80 we haven't changed it then we define six different variables six different variables one is int vowel zero so vowel is equal to zero so we are not using the array here we are uh, checking whether a particular character is a vowel or not we are not checking whether it is A or E, but whether it is a vowel or not. That is what we are checking. So vowel is uh, initialized to zero. The variable C O N S. It is to count the consonants that is present within the particular string. So the number of consonants is to be counted. So that is initialized to zero. Then the number of spaces. So in order to store the number of spaces, we use a variable space. The name of the variable that is used for storing the number of spaces within the text is space. Then an i, this is a counter. A counter means uh, uh, the in order to trace through the different elements in the array, we need an index value. So in order to trace the index values, we use a counter. So that is i. So i varies from 0 to the length. So then there is another variable len so it is it corresponds to length length of the particular string then end so whether the end has reached or not so that is how it is being done now we puts enter a line of text ending with a dollar so in this case the last character of the text should be a dollar so once 
a character dollar symbol is found out we assume that the particular text is ended or that particular string is ended so instead of using the slash zero character that is null character we are manually inputting a dollar symbol here what until we put a dollar symbol the uh, text will be continuing the text will be continuing till or the string will be continuing till we find the first dollar symbol so gets str it reads in the input that we are giving to the uh, program that is typewritten by us then what we does is we find out the length the length of the particular string that is under consideration so in order to find out the string length of the string what we use is we use the variable len so what we does is we check whether this particular character we are tracing through the different elements of this particular string using the len value and if it is not a dollar symbol we are incrementing the length value by one so if we use a string like this say hello world h e l l o w o r l d so finally we have to insert a dollar symbol so this is how our input should look like so initially len is zero so we are checking str this particular value is str so this is equal to str str equal to hello world so we are checking str zero initially len is zero so str len is dollar or not if it is not dollar this is not dollar so we increment len by one so len becomes one so then again this one comes up this is a while loop so when str len is now len is one so str one str one is e this is str one so it is e it is not all, uh, equal to dollar so len is increased by one so len becomes two so likewise it goes on till it finds out this particular dollar once this particular dollar is found out this particular condition becomes true once this particular condition becomes true i mean this particular condition becomes false str len is not equal to dollar it is equal to dollar so in that condition it becomes false this particular condition becomes false once this particular condition becomes false the control is coming to or the getting out of this while loop and it going to the next line of statement so in that position it will be giving the value of ldn as the number of characters within this particular input so in this case it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so ldn will be equal to 11 so that is how it works then we check as in the previous four case uh, uh, previous case we use a for loop in order to trace through the different elements in the particular string in this case we are not going up to the 79 the position instead we are going only up to len minus one condition because we know that there are only len number of characters it can be 10 11 12 or some some number of characters we doesn't know uh, it will be known only when we are entering the value entering the text so we know that there are ldn number of characters so we are just below that one we are going up to just below the ldn value then again as in the previous case switch to lower stri to lower stri in this case we are considering all the vowels together since we are considering all the vowels together we are putting case a case e case i case u case u x all together we know that after case a if we doesn't put a break command the control will be transferred to the control will continue to with the next line of code so when case a is coming up this 
this is the condition. Since there is nothing below this, no break code uh, below this case A, it goes to here. So case E, likewise it goes up to case U and then it adds the value of vowel by one. The value of vowel is increased by one. So that is if A, E, I, O, U, any of these vowels is found out, then the value of vowel will be increased by one. Then it breaks. Once the vowel value of vowel is increased by one, it breaks. Then it checks whether case is the case is a space it, within single quotes. We are, have inserted a single space. So if it is a space, then it increases the value of space by one. The variable space is increased by one. So here also it breaks. So then the default condition, that is all other conditions are treated as consonants. Even if the string, particular string consists of any specific uh, character like percentage symbol or a numerical symbol, all, everything will be considered in the consonants. This is because this is a limitation of this particular program. But still, we have to cope with that one because we are writing simple programs. So the default condition is, you know that default condition is if nothing, no case given here is satisfying, then it goes to the default condition. So the default condition, during the default condition, it increases the value of CONS by one. So then it breaks. So this is how this switch loop works. So then finally, what happens is uh, the printf, number of vowels, percentage d slash and the vowel, then printf, number of consonants, percentage d, cons, printf, percentage, number of blank spaces, percentage d space. So all the three variables are printed here. All the values of all the three variables are printed here. So let us check it. So print a line of text ending with dollar. So we have to end it with a dollar. So I am writing something like this. Programming in C. So I have to end it with a dollar symbol. So I am ending it with a dollar symbol. So C, the number of vowels in this case is four. C, one, two, three, and four. Four vowels are there. The number of consonants is nine. So there are uh, nine consonants are there, the number of blank spaces is two. See, here is one blank space and here is one blank space. So this is how the vowels and the consonants are counted using strings or from strings, how to find out the number of vowels, number of consonants and the number of white spaces.